Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create your first Java project using Eclipse IDE. So first let's download and install Eclipse. Then let's go to this first link, it is on eclipse.org. Then let's click on this download button. In this page let's scroll down and here we can see that this is the latest version of Eclipse IDE. So to download and install Eclipse, it is possible to use this button. But the easiest way to install Eclipse is using the zip file. So we need to click on this download link. In this page, let's scroll down. And here we need to download Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Because I am using Windows, I will click on this link. Then let's click on this download button. And now we need to save this zip file. But in my case, I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download. So this is the zip file of Eclipse IDE, and I need just to extract it. So I need to click on Extract Files. And then I need to provide the path where to extract Eclipse. So it is possible to extract it at any location. In my case, I want to extract Eclipse on the folder of the user of this computer. So I will remove this part from the path. Now let's click on OK. Now let's go to the folder where we extracted Eclipse. So this is the folder of the user of this computer. And here we have the folder that contains Eclipse. And here we have the executable file that allows us to start Eclipse. So let's make a shortcut of this file on the desktop. And now we can close this folder. And now let's start Eclipse using this shortcut. In this window we need to provide the folder that will contain the different Java projects. In my case, I will accept this default path. And also I will check this box, so I will not have this window each time I start Eclipse. Now let's click on Launch. In this window, let's close this welcome page. And to create a new Java project, we can click on File, then New, then Java Project. So here let's provide the project name. I will call it first Java project. So because I want to create a simple Java project, I don't need this module file. So I will uncheck this box. And let's click on finish. Now the project has been created, but it is empty. So let's create a new Java class. To do this, let's click on file, then new, then class. So I will call it main class. Then let's click on finish. So here we obtain this class and it is empty. So let's create the main method. So we can write main. Then we can press simultaneously on control and space. And then we can press enter. And here we obtain the main method. Also let's print some text to the user. So let's write sys out. Then let's press simultaneously on control and space. And here we have system out println. And now let's write some text to the user. Now let's save this file so we can click on this button to save the file. And to run it we can make a right click. Then run as. Then Java application. And here we have the output. Now I will show you how to create a Java frame. So let's create a new Java class. So let's click on file, then new, then class. So this class I will call it main frame. Now let's click on finish. So this class has been created and I want to convert it into a G frame. So here let's add extends G frame. But here we have an error. This is because this class is not recognized and we need to import it. 
so we can click on this icon then we can click on import gfray and here this line has been added and the error disappeared now let's create a method that allows us to initialize this frame i will call it initialize then let's write the statements that allow us to initialize the frame so this first statement allows us to set the title this statement allows us to set the dimension of this frame with this statement when we click on the close button the application will be stopped and finally this statement allows us to make this window visible but here we have an error this is because we need to import this class so let's click on this icon and then let's click on import the class and now let's save this file so we can click on this button but now we cannot run this class because it does not contain the main method so to be able to run this class either we have to go to the main class which contains the main method or we need to create the main method inside this class so let's go to main class and here in the main method let's create an object of type main frame now let's call the initialize method of this object now let's save this file and let's run it so let's make a right click then run as then java application and here we obtain this window when i click on this close button the application will be stopped now let's create the main method inside this class called main frame so after the initialize method i will create the main method now let's create an object of type main frame then let's call the initialize method of this object now let's save this file and now we can run it so let's make a right click then run as then java application and here we obtain this window now i will show you how to install window builder to be able to create user interfaces using the swing designer so let's go to help then eclipse marketplace then in this window let's write window builder let's press enter so here we have two versions of window builder we have this stable version of window builder and we have this latest version in my case i want to install the stable version which is this one so let's click on this install button then let's click on confirm in this window let's accept the license then let's click on finish and now we need to wait till the end of the installation now the installation finished correctly after about two minutes so we need to restart eclipse now let's close this welcome page and to create a new user interface using window builder we can click on this button then let's select swing then gfray so here we need to provide the class name i will call it welcome free then let's click on finish so we can find this class just here and if we want to switch to the designer we have just to click on design so here we have the different components that we can add to this interface and here we have the properties of the different components so to change the title of this window we have just to select it and in the properties area we have to find the title property so here let's provide the title i will write welcome let's press enter now let's go back to the source code let's save the file and to run it let's make a right click then run as then java application and here we obtain this window 